Hello everyone, we will continue the topic module pool programming and we are covering how we can go for row selection functionality in table control with wizard. So we have written the logic as a part of that in the previous video. We have written the logic in the PAI to fetch the data from header table from item table. Now our data is in this two internal table. From this two internal table, we need to fill the final internal table that is LT underscore final. So I will simply simply go for loop and we will fill the final internal table. So I will put a loop on LT underscore data and I will move it to work area. For every loop, there is a end loop. Now, second internal table compulsory will go for loop because for one order number, we have multiple records in the second internal table. Suppose if I will go to order header and order item, if I will go to order header table, this is our order header table. If I will put a order number, we will get a single record into header table because order number is the primary key. In order item table, order number and order item number both are primary key. If we will put a order number, I will get multiple records, multiple records. So compulsory second internal table will go for loop. If you will go for read table, read table will read only the first matching record. It means it will read this, but it will not read this. So you have to compulsory go for loop. So I will write loop anyways in the ABAP programming playlist. These concepts are explained in very much detail. Now this is our second internal table. And what is common between both of them? Order number. For every loop, there is a end loop. We all know in case of nested loops, we have to go for parallel cursor. So you can apply parallel cursor also. Anyways, we are only going for single order number at a time. So we will not get much records. Yes. Now from these two work areas, we will fill the final work area. LWA final order number. It is coming from first work area. Now I will do control D. You all know control D is used to duplicate a line. Order number, order date, payment mode, total amount, currency. Then is our order item number, item cost. Same thing I will change here also. Order date, payment mode. Then we have total amount. Then we have currency. Then we have order item number. And then we have item cost. Order item number and item cost are from the second work area. Now one by one, we passed it to work area. From the work area, we will pass it to internal table. And you all know we have an internal table operation to insert the records to the internal table. So I, am, I have written append work area to internal table. We should always clear the work area after every append. Now 
Now I will check the syntax up to this level. And I will Now I will simply put a breakpoint and we will see the output up to this level. Are we getting a expected output or not? I will put a breakpoint in PAI of screen 100. I will go for in a new window, execution in a new window. Suppose I'm going for order number one. Whenever I will go for submit PAI call. Now that's why I showed you, that's why I'm running in that debugging mode. And I want to show you this point. When I put one, it is saying in well field format time pro error. How, how we can resolve this error? First, most important point. Now, our order number is a numeric field. If I will go to screen, if I will go to layout, most, most common error is, if you are going for table name, hyphen, column name, at that time, one pop-up will come. Do you want to bind it to data dictionary? At that time, this error will not come. But now we are getting this error and I will show you why, why we are getting this error. Screen painter is taking time. I'll just open again. You will still learn how to resolve this error. Our order number is a numeric field. It means it will only, only accept the numbers. I will go to layout now. Screen painter will open. Okay, it's working. Now, if I will show you, this is our order number input field. Have you seen? What is the format? It is character. Character means it can accept A to Z also, but that is not for our order number. Order number only accept numbers. That's why SAP is saying yes, invalid dime pro error. So we have to simply, simply make it numeric, numeric. So this is the way how we will resolve. If you will put table name hyphen column name, then one pop-up will come. Do you want to bind it to data dictionary? Then ultimately format will be numeric because in our database table order number is numeric. Now I will save and I will go for close because here in the layout you are saying it is character. But when we put or when we declare this particular variable, we told it is numeric. So it's a mismatch itself. That's why SAP is saying, okay, make both as same. Now we will simply, simply make, activate this program. And I will show you now the error will not be there. Okay. Now we will see is breakpoint is there. Yes, breakpoint is there. I will run. One, submit. You can see there is no error. PAI called. I will go to desktop. SciUcom, submit. Yes, because we gave the function for submit. Our input is one. This input will go to O number column of order header table. It will fetch the data of these five columns and data will come into this internal table. I'm doing F6. You can see one record came into internal table. Now, this if condition, true, because our internal table is not initial, is not null, is not blank. Now, First internal table order number. What is first internal table order number? It is one. 
it will act as a input to it will go to o number column of order item table it will fetch that data of these three columns and data will come into this internal table so you can see in this internal table we have three records now from these two internal tables we are filling lt final just see lt final zero records so first record from the internal table will go to work area if you want to see the work area we have the work area wa and lwa underscore data now in the work area we have the order number one now we are making a loop on to lt data one what is the where condition first work area order number what is first work area order number one it will check into this internal table do we have a order number one yes we have a order number one so this record will go to work area this record will go to work area and you can see in lwa data one we have the data now from these two work area, we are filling the final work area. Now I am doing F6, F6. Now you can see everything came to this work area, LWA final. Five from the first, two from the second. Now we are appending to internal table. And you can see in LT final, we have the first record. Now we will go for second record because inner loop will continue three times because inner internal table has three records. Now it will check for second record. Do we have a order number one? Yes, we have a order number one. So this record will go to work area and we will append to internal table. Now, second record, we are appending to internal table. And you can see we have the second record in the internal table. Now, we will go for third iteration. Now, for the third record also, the order number is one. So, third condition, third record is also true. The condition for the third record is true and we append it to final internal table and you can see we have three records. Now inner loop done. Now outer loop has only one record that is done. So we have our internal table filled and this internal table is binded with the table control and have you seen we are able to see the data. Now in the next video we will see whenever we are selecting the rows, how, how we can identify the selected rows, how we can move it to another database table. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I have written the logic to move the data of two internal table into one final internal table. And yes, Second internal table will definitely go for loop because we have multiple records in the second internal table for a combination of record in the header table. Then when we run the program, we got a invalid time pro error. Why? Because in the layout, you are saying order number is character. But when we declare the variable, we sold it is numeric. So SAP is giving the time pro error because character means you can pass A, A to Z also, but that is not possible. So in the layout also, we make it numeric. Then in the debugging mode, we understood the process and we are getting the result in the table control. In the next video, we will go for next part of the functionality. So that's it in this video. Thank you.